Netherlands. Uh, so the, the rider is coming on now between the two buildings. Now, as you can see, a special forces agent is on surveillance mission and has been come under attack from enemy fire. Now the soldiers are going to need to leave the zero, the combat zone as quickly as possible, and they're going to do so on board the UNAC rider vehicle. As the UNAC makes as the rider makes its way onto the track, let's have a look at its off-road capabilities. I know. Let's have a look at its vertical obstacle crossing capabilities first of all. As you can see, no problem at all for the rider to uh, cover those vertical obstacles. It's a great height turning, so as you can see. And now, it's, let's have a look as the rider makes its way onto the track. Have a look at its off-road capabilities. Its off-road capabilities enable to negotiate gradients of up to 60%. With its 900 kilograms payload. And it can cross slopes of up to 30%. And its architecture allows it to negotiate fords of up to 80 centimeters. Let's have a quick a closer look at the uh, neck. Fennec from Technam is a vehicle based on the world famous Suzuki Jimmy chassis. As you can see, it's a 12 intervention vehicle or reconnaissance vehicle, and the Fennec allies discreetness as well as astonishing speed and crossing capabilities. Let's have a look now as the Fennec negotiates the rather steep hill. Gently does it. Okay, no problem at all for the Fennec from Technan. A base vehicle known for its reliability, ruggedness, crossing capabilities, and easy maintenance. Now, Technan transforms the 4x4 vehicle into a 6x6 vehicle adding a powered axle and all three axles having differential locks. Let's have a look as the Technam negotiates a steep hill. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Now that is rather impressive ladies and gentlemen. Yes, so all three extreme mobility and rather impressive traction. Here it comes. Now, it's equipped with a 340 horsepower engine, allowing it to reach a top speed of 110 kilometers per hour on the road for a GVW of 14.5 tons. So, no problem at all for the Fortress Mark II as it makes its way down the slope and over the vertical obstacles. Now, ah, yes. We're going to see now as it heads onto the concrete blocks uh, its side slope capabilities. Now it can cross side slopes of up to 30% and also cross forwards of up to one meter deep. It's double armored tank according to its standard 4569. Its drivetrain and independent wheel suspension make it very easy to drive and an excellent level of comfort. Another strong point is its ergonomics. Designed according to the latest NATO standards in terms of ergonomics, its interior volume allows it to respond to all types of missions, um, be it troop tr transport or medical evacuation, command post, etc. As you can see, it's a very versatile vehicle. Now, the Fortress Mark II can also be equipped with numerous equipment such as weapon systems, means of observation, and or communication or technologies engineering. And it can 
overcome vertical obstacles of 0.7 meters. Okay, that's rather impressive. No problem at all for the Bronco. Now, as the uh, Bronco makes its way onto the terrain in front of us, have a look at its rubber tracks. Now, these rubber tracks enable the load of the vehicle to be spread out evenly, ex achieving extremely low ground pressure, and a differential lock system is available to further improve traction. Let's have a look as it makes its way up the hill. makes its way to the top of the hill with no problem at all. So, no problem at all for the Bronco. Ah, that's rather, rather spectacular. Now the Bronco has the largest internal volume in its class with a payload of 6,300 kilograms and a gross potential of 7,800 kilograms. Now you might have noticed the Bronco 3 is very quiet. So very agile, as we're going to see now with its very tight turning radius of less than 7.5 meters. Now, as the Bronco comes to a stop, ladies and gentlemen, have a look on the screen again. The Bronco has an open architecture for ease of customization for diverse missions and the prime mover can be coupled to interchangeable rear modules to create a multitude of variants such as troop carrier, ambulance, cargo carrier and mortar carrier. The Bronco offers the perfect blend of survivability, payload and mobility for operations in hostile environments. A big thanks to Singapore Tech is joining in as quickly as possible in order to begin the decontamination procedure. Yes, the CVRN vehicle. The M01 decontamination system has an innovative and optimized architecture integrated into this high mobility carrier, defining new standards of compactness, simplicity, and implementation. Coming on from the left-hand side, we can see the Fortress Mark II. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, the Fortress Mark II has been the victim of a chemical warfare attack. Now, uh, a few items of information about the KNDS CBRN vehicle. The carrier's engine is used to generate power, and optimizing integration brings benefits in terms of ease of handling, ergonomics of use, and this results in time savings for the operator. So the decontamination and operation is underway. The essential decon range, if you look on the screens, the essential decon range is equipped with modules dedicated to dosing, mixing, and spraying in liquid form or foam form of any type of aqueous solution making it possible to adapt to different threats and different operational situations. This flexibility of use in the field to select and use the most suitable chemical solution and to effectively treat the toxic agent. Alerted to the presence of these rioters and they are aboard the Centurion D-14 from Esson Security which is part of the Armoric Holding Group. If you turn your attention to the screens, yes, uh, thanks to the AI overlay of yellow and purple colors in this video, the area has been identified. And the firefighters are going to be able to make their way down to the specified area. However, the solution does not stop there. It will continue to analyze the residual temperatures on the ground to ensure that the fire is completely under control. This, which is part of the Armoric Holding Group. Now, 
let's have a look at its water cannon capabilities. Now, it's equipped with a radio-controlled water cannon powered by a high-pressure SIDES pump. Here we go, which can deliver 400 litres per minute at 40 bars. Now, this rather innovative device makes it easier for firefighters to intervene in difficult-to-access areas with steep slope. For the protection of the crew, the glazing in the cockpit is reinforced and the cabin is supplied transmission programmed by Volvo giving it excellent off-road capabilities. It is able of going up slopes of 45%, as we've just seen. And can cross fording heights of up to 0 0.7 meters. Let's have a look at its uh, vertical obstacle clearing capacity. Now, with a bit of luck, he's going to head on to the concrete blocks. Okay, so as you can see, it's capable of crossing side slopes of up to 30%. And urgent medical supplies are going to be brought very quickly on board the Artis vehicle from Charisma Tech. Now the Artis vehicle developed by Charisma Tech provides a solution because it allows the transport of equipment or people up to 200 kilograms. Now its 90 centimeter wheelbase is ideal for traveling through very narrow passages as we've just seen. The height of its platform can be modified by the operator. And as the artist makes its way onto the concrete blocks, we're going to have a look at one of its main features, which is its ability to maintain the platform level despite uh, going over obstacles or going over gaps. And as you can see, the platform is remaining perfectly level, which is obviously fundamental for carrying, uh, for example, an injured soldier. Now, uh, the, uh, a few words about the... Uh, now, we're going to see an example of its very tight turning circle ability due to its uh, independent four-wheel steering. As you can see, the vehicle can literally turn on a sixpence. Now, for safety, we're here today. It's a very high quality one with semi automatic deployment thanks to gas cylinders integrated into the legs, and these propel the tent into the high position. Now, Vita Breathe is currently in partnership with the French RAID, the French Rapid Inter... Have a look on the screen. Now the fuel is in fact not fossil diesel, but a synthetic diesel, uh, in accordance with the European fuel norms. Now if you keep your eye on the screen, if you keep your eyes on the screen, ladies and gentlemen, you might be able to see uh, just how clear this synthetic fuel from Rheinmetall is. Cheers! Now, synthetic need to collapse, unfortunately, and investments in renewable energy and in the ability to synthesize e-fuels will secure the energy supply for the armed forces in Europe as a key combat capability. Now, let's have a few words about Ryan Lothberger for its, uh, its tents. Uh, Lothberger T. Lothberger, the 